Today I'm gonna to show you how to put one of these doorknobs on in your bedroom door. The first thing that we're gonna do is take the strike plate, place it here on the jam, and then we're gonna take and drill a pilot hole in each of these. With those pilot holes drilled, I'm gonna take these two little short screws, and we're gonna screw this on. Make sure you keep it lined up, that way it's not going crazy. And I just need to snug that down. Like don't, don't blast through it. This just needs to stay on. You don't need to tighten it like the world is ending. Now we're gonna do the same thing with the strike. Now make sure that the slope side is angled towards the door. Otherwise it's in backwards and that's not gonna go over so well for you. So put that in place and drill two pilot holes. Once you have those pilot holes drilled, go ahead and put the screws in. Now, this is just the passage lock. So on this, you're gonna have this side that's all pretty with no screw holes, and you're gonna have this side that has the screw holes. I like to put this side that, on the less visible side. So I'm gonna put that inside of this bedroom, is what I'm gonna do. So it comes, you just pull it apart like this, and now this is square right here, and you'll notice that inside of here, it's square. So what you have to do is you have to line up the square, and then there's the two little, I'm not sure what you call them, but bolt shafts. They're gonna hold the threaded screw that's gonna go in there. So once you get those in, you can check in here, you have that square that's right there. So you're gonna try and line that up so it's like this, and then you're gonna take it, and you're going to put it on, and you're going to make sure everything lines up hunky-dory the way it's supposed to be. So, right now, you're almost there. Let's say you're doing one that has a privacy lock on it. So this is a privacy knob. So when you take it apart, you're going to see this little metal lever like this. And see how it's, it's kind of in a rectangular shape? It's flat. So inside of here, I don't know if you can see it, but there's actually a groove that fits the exact same. And what you do to adjust that groove is you actually turn the little locking mechanism. So what you need to do is make sure that this square lines up with these two holes for the screws. And then you need to make sure that inside of here, that little receiving slot will line up with how that is gonna go too. So see how it's in a horizontal position? So I need to make sure that that groove inside of here is also in a horizontal position. We need that privacy lock in you can test it before you put the screws in. You can see, unlock and locked. So that's the only real difference in a privacy lock. Also make sure you put the locking side on the side that you want to be able to lock it. Otherwise it's kind of awkward. Now you got these little screws. I use the little short ones as opposed to the long ones that come with it. You get you usually get both in a package. I use the short ones because these are standard doors and they're designed for the standard door and it's just less time that you're spinning the screw. So what I do is I'll pinch the doorknob like so and then just by hand i'll slide that screw in and i'll start i'll just start it by hand now you saw i was using my impact driver for like doing some of the other screws and <clears throat> for drilling the pilot holes when it comes to these don't use your impact driver because you'll probably scratch up the finish on the doorknob like nine times out of ten it is a gamble that you're taking if you want to do that and not even a good gamble it's like a a stupid gamble. <sighs> so don't do that. Just get yourself one of these longer screwdrivers. I think this is an eight inch if I remember right. You know, this is a cheap one from Home Depot. It was like all of, it was like seven or eight bucks, something like that. But what I'll do is I'll take one and I'll screw it in most of the way, so it's not all the way tight. And then on the other side, I'll go all the way tight. And then I'll just come back and tighten up the other one. The reason I do that is I've kind of found if you go super tight on the first one, it can kind of throw off the alignment of getting the other screw in. Go ahead and give her a few tests. That's a good sign. Test the lock, doesn't open. Oh, unlocks. That means that you did it right.
And that's all there is to put on a doorknob, whether it's a passage doorknob or a privacy doorknob. Pretty easy, pretty simple. You can totally do it yourself. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button down below and then comment any questions that you might have or random dad jokes because I love dad jokes. And I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks. Bye.